What's going on everyone? We got a special two-parter video series for you talking about using the treadmill filter in Rococo Studio to record walk cycles and then take those walk cycles and make crowds and dynamic ragdolls and all sorts of fun things. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So here I am in Rococo Studio, I'm already in the suit. I'm just going to load my suit onto my actor profile that has my height. So the treadmill filter essentially locks the actor to the origin point of the scene. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. Here I am, I've just got normal locomotion turned on, no treadmill filter or anything, and I am walking around the scene, translating through the scene, right? But as soon as I turn on treadmill filter, you can see that my character, even though I'm still walking, even though my hips are still bobbing and my entire body is bobbing up and down, I am not moving, translating through the scene. My character is locked at that origin point and that's gonna make it really easy for us to go and create those walk cycles. Now I can go through and do a couple of different things. Here is skipping. You can see this, this works great. The other thing I wanna pay attention to when I'm doing this is I wanna have consistent movement forward at the same rate. So I'm gonna try and have all my walk paces and strides be equal size. So I'm moving forward at a consistent rate. And that's gonna make working with this as a walk cycle a lot easier in the future. For this video in particular, I'm gonna be doing a zombie. And you can see I'm moving my arms around when I record this, I'm moving my head. All of this is gonna be captured in that walk cycle. Now we are done, we can take a look at our walk cycle. And what's really great about treadmill mode right off the bat is that you can trigger it after you do your recording. So you can have both your recording with real translation and the walk cycle or treadmill mode version of that as well. So even though I'm in treadmill mode, one thing I always want to do is go and clean up my mocap. That is super duper important. So I'm gonna go and clean up my mocap, all my walks, Make sure that Rococo Studio understands when my weight is shifting between my feet and that's gonna give me the cleanest result. So this all looks really good. We are about ready to export this out to Unreal Engine and Houdini and Blender. And you'll notice that this is not looping right now. We are working on adding looping functionality into Rococo Studio, but for now we're gonna create the actual loop itself in those other programs. So jump over to part two and I'll go through that process there. And then we're gonna take this walk cycle and get crazy with it in Houdini and Blender. It's gonna be a blast. See you over there.